And hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Alright, so last time I showed you how to insert data into a database. This time it's about time I show you how to edit the data into the database. For example, change this here at grade to something like 10, for example. Just change it. So the only things I changed was I changed what this was connected to. So now it's connected to TBL owner and not TBL CD. Make sure that all of your things are active. Here I didn't really change anything. And here at the button, I just added an edit button. Nothing special about that. So let's get straight into it. So in the previous video, I did talk about state and I did go over those things and you should by now have some sort of idea what we're going to do everything now in order to edit it. So first thing we have to do is if we run the program right now, you'll see that there's like this little pointer that like points to a specific row, you know, like to a specific record. and it's if you, you you can click on it if you click on things it focuses on that specific record you are clicking on now it's there for no reason it in fact has a reason to why it's here this is to show you where the database currently is focused on like if it's focused here and i'm going to edit the database it's going to edit it here to whatever i say it should be uh, if it's here it's going to edit the database here if it's here, it's going to edit the database here. Okay. Okay. So now that you know that, that, that's basically all you need to know. So we're going to give the user an option to um, choose what they want to edit, which is not the owner ID. Or, or let's make it a little, a little bit more simple. We're going to make them be able to edit the grade they can change the grade to whatever they want it to be that sounds fair right okay so we are going to find whichever one they want to edit using the owner id we can we can found it we can find it by uh, using the owner first name or owner surname but I feel like there might be repetitive things here. For example, there might be two people with the surname Curry, or there might be two people with the name Kevin. So then we'll have to add in surname as well, which is going to cause extra code. And here I want to teach you the basics. So we're going to search by the owner ID. Okay. Okay, great. Now well, let's go back here and double click on the edit button. So first thing we will need is we'll need to get which owner ID we want to edit and what we want to change the grade to. Now, last time I told you the value types, they actually matter, which is a number, a number or an integer. This would be a string, 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 character or string and so on and so forth. Okay, remember that is very important. I'm saying, okay, way too many times. So let's create variables and we're going to and we're going to I can't talk today I ID which is going to be the user ID and I grade which is going to be the user's grade integers so first thing we've got to do is we're going to find the ID I ID oh my gosh I ID becomes string to str to int and we're going to use input box again of course you can use an edit or whatever you want to get all of the data we add our default parameter thingies and then we go a user id which user do you want to edit? We're going to give it a default value of 2. And then I grade, which will be in here. str to int, again, input box.
Mm. We'll give it default value of 12. Okay, and then we can do that. And press Control D, Control S. And now that we have the data, we have to actually find the location that we're looking for. So to do that, let's go um, also before I forget, I did change this um, this whole thing. I just changed the name to DMCon. Just take that as a note. And remember to import it as well right here. Anyway, so now you can go with. You don't need to use with. I just like to use with to decrease the amount of typing I have to do. DMCon do begin. So yes, we want to put it into edit mode but we don't do that just yet first we got to make sure that that id does actually exist let's say it only goes up to 70 and now the user types 71 we don't we can't edit that that's going to throw an error we don't want the user to see that error because they don't they're not going to know what it means because they don't know how to code most likely so what we have to do is we have to personally make sure that it's going to work to do that, we have to constrain them. So the first thing we have to do is we have to take this TVL music. We're going to search through this thing, or we're going to use this to search through this right here. So we're going to go TVL music dot locate. Now locate is basically just going to find everything we are searching for. In this case, we are searching the user ID. So first we have to s specify what column we are searching through. In this case, we are searching through owner ID. Remember, spelling, very important. If you're going to spell owner ID with a small O and not a capital O, you are going to get an error. Remember, very important. So we can go owner ID exactly the same as here no spaces nothing and then what are we searching for in this case we're searching for iid and then all we have to do is just add empty braces here this is for uh, something way in the future no need to worry about this right now okay then what we want to do is we can go equals true but we don't need to so I'm going to leave that out. That is up to you. Now we can finally turn the table or turn the database into edit mode, which would be tblmusic.edit. And we can at the bottom tblmusic.post. New Delphi is not really needed, but always good practice to still use that, to still say tbl music.post. Post is still very important because it still says even if Delphi does it for you, do not take it lightly. So now we want to edit the grade. So now we can go TBL music and in square brackets. As I told you before, it's basically like an array but you use words. And we want to edit this right here, grade. So we turn back and we go grade becomes I grade. Okay, now this is great and all, but what if this doesn't get found? Are we just not going to do anything with it? Or are we just going to skip everything out? The user is going to click the button and it's going to he's going to wonder like why isn't it working? So what we have to do is we have to go else. I have to give it an else statement just to make sure that the user knows what's going on. Show message. User ID not found. DS. Okay. And this is the basic structure which you will use to edit your database. So let's run it and see if it works. So we are going to edit this one that says 10. Okay, we're going to edit. It's user ID 2. And we can, yeah, no, we can check anymore. It's user ID 2. We're going to say, okay, we want to change it to 12. We click it. 
it's 12. That's great. Now, if we close this and we rerun it again, does it stay the same? Yes. So we successfully edited an entire record in the database. And all it took was actually just these few lines if you exclude what you need to get from the user. Very basic. No problem with it at all. Alright, so I hope you all did enjoy this and learned something new. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next video.